hello welcome this time around i'm going to show you how to send a payload from your erp next or frappe to another uh, app entirely different from frappe okay um i have set up a very small django app and here is the url of my system it's running on a different uh, port 8000 okay i'm going to start the app um python manage.py run server Okay, and from the source code, I created a very small app, just added an app to it. This is Django Framework. Then created a home. Then uh, a URL will be sent to it. Normally, this is how the structure of Django works. Um, I want whenever a request comes into this place, I just want to print this request to the terminal just here. Okay, and what I'm going to do, if you also check my app.hooks, I added the URL, uh, which is this um, webhook URL. Sorry, this URL is what you have here. Just the same URL we worked with previously. I'm um, sorry, just the same um, code base we worked with previously. And um, after that, um, you can save save your document once you are done changing this URL to okay. I'm um, you may not have it anyway, but I have this. I just want to test it so you can see. Okay, I've saved this on my system anyway. Then um go straight to my documents and um, make small change to it and save. Once this document is saved, I can check the terminal um to see if the request was sent okay the request was not sent i have to check why to know i have to check to know why the request was not sent they have a one nine two one six eight for the three one zero eight let me check what i have before why okay save might have to try that again Let me also reload the page to be sure it's running. Okay, it is not running. I have to check to know why it is not running. Okay, um, sorry, I was not running it on a global port. That is why I should run it. Let me clear the screen. It should be running on a global port. Clear. So Python manage the Python server 0.0.0.0.8000. .0 .0 .0 .0 okay. Right now, it should be running on a global port, uh, port that can be accessed, or global URL that can be accessed in the system. And go back to this, make more change, save. And now you see the payload was sent directly to this app. And you see the payload here. You can see the name of the documents, the agent's name. Um, agent John, you can see the grand total. And now you see you can actually send out information from your system to a different system entirely. This is Django app or Django framework. You can send it to any any um, app as long as it can receive a call from an external system. Now you see this is a totally, totally different app. Okay, uh, thanks for seeing that. I hope you really do learn something from it.